I am driving the Mini Recharge Heritage. It is an electrified classic Mini. The concept is rather simple, and you've read about it on a motor file. You take an old Mini, give it to these folks who are working in conjunction with BMW, and in about a week, you get a fully electrified classic Mini that's got about what, zero to 60 in eight seconds, and a range that is nominal, we'll say. I know, we're supposed to go left. We'll go left in a second. So let's talk more about, let's talk more about this car. So as you'd expect, it is immediate. As you'd expect, it feels like a mini. But what you don't know is they've kept the weight distribution identical to the petrol car. Uh, the weight itself is identical as well. And so what you end up with is a very, very familiar drive, but one that has immediate torque and uh and less noise and it turns out not a lot of rattles in in a lot of ways i mean this is what so many people want out of a classic mini you get up you get in you go you have fun you don't have to worry about carburetors you don't have to worry about mechanical issues it just goes and uh yeah and it's coming to the united states so this is a car this is a car that feels exactly how you'd want it to feel, and I just mentioned that, but getting out of the car after driving it, it, it really, as you reflect on it, I mean, man, this, this is kind of an ideal candidate for an electrified car. You know, the engine isn't the star of the show of a classic Mini. It's the chassis, it's the dynamics, it's the packaging, the design, and, and that's all here. And with that weight distribution staying the same, with the weight staying the same, they've allowed that to really shine as you'd, as you'd want. Um, but of course, it's got immediate torque. Uh, it feels fantastic just in normal driving conditions. Um, and for a city, I mean, I, I can't imagine a better car, especially a very, very condensed city. Uh, and as I mentioned as well, I mean, this is a car that they've done a really good job of keeping the little details minimal in terms of change. I mean, so you've got, of course, your range. And you've got an automatic transmission back for drive up forward to go in to reverse and it's got all the charm of of the donor car of course they they really essentially they take a very clean donor car they bring it up to spec and they install a kit um, that's the concept and they've done a fantastic job here so as i mentioned uh, they're going to be looking at coming to the united states as well so expansion there um, this is a car that i can imagine being really popular in certain cities in the future as you start to think about modern EVs all looking the same, you know, kind of having this sort of soulless design to them, which I think a lot of people feel. This is a car that's the opposite of that. So the price, this is about all in with a donor car. I think about, they said roughly 60,000 pounds. So it's not cheap, not cheap at all. But when you think about a modern EV, um, I mean, maybe half that, uh, when you think about the mini uh, SE, but this is an incredibly special car. This is really something you will not see again or you will not see coming and going. Uh, this is a car that is also intended to be upgradable in the future as well. So let's say 10 years from now we have solid state batteries. Well, that's a swap they expect to be able to, to, to make. So it's a really, really interesting concept and I think it's one that will absolutely take off.